Hi everyone, uh, Professor Mohammed Shah with you. Uh, uh, today uh, our model uh, is a solar evacuated tube uh, collector for water uh, heating system. Um, first of all, you have to open your MATLAB, open your MATLAB first and, and go to your destination folder. Okay, you have to go to your uh, specify your the location that your folder. Uh, um, uh, has been downloaded and this is my drive my work okay and I, I am here okay sort by name and uh, group by type and then you'll find your model is here okay double clicking okay this is our main model um, the basic idea of this model is uh, simple uh, it's about uh, solar evocative uh, tube collector field uh, attached to a uh, uh, boiler, uh, biogas boiler, or fire boiler, or natural gas boiler, what, uh, whatever the uh, the main source of uh, of thermal uh, power, and we have here intermediate uh, um, heat exchanger. We can use this in order to transfer heat or thermal power from uh, uh, the evacuated tube uh, field to the uh, user. And uh, there is another cycle, intermediate cycle, which contain, uh, which is containing pump and another heat exchanger. Uh, and this one is a we can consider it a storage tank or distributor for uh, the user. Um, uh, we uh, we considered uh, water fluoride for for the first cycle for the solar cycle, and water fluoride for the second cycle. We can replace this one. We can replace uh, 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 water by adding thermol or acetylene glycol or uh, whatever ferrules, whatever you would like. We can change this, and uh, we can replace this one by adding or considering a parabolic thrust solar feed if you would like. Uh, okay, the download link you will find it in uh, in uh, the description. Anyway. Uh, just double clicking here okay uh, this is a brief description okay now we have here we have to consider some uh, uh, inputs just click here okay and this is our main cycle okay first of all double clicking here you can choose between biogas fire boiler or uh, evacuated tube solar field and uh, actually, we can use this uh, automatically, I mean, but in, in this video, you are going to run our model in just uh, a zero-time domain or infinity, but this model can, can run in dynamic mode if you would like. Let's go for evacuated tube solar field, okay, and we can go inside here and exploring uh, what we should do. Uh, double clicking on solar field, you will find uh, three types, three main types uh, of solar uh, evacuated tube. Okay, I, I, I would like to choose uh, type C. Okay, okay, and you can consider some uh, input design parameters. You can consider this based on your design, and um, you can control uh, solar flux manually. Okay, this is manual uh, controlling. And you, or you can control this uh, by um, uh, adding signal builder or run it automatically uh, with respect to time domain if you would like. There is no problem at all. So suppose I need to go for intermediate uh, values. Okay. And this is your ambient temperature. Okay. 25 as an average. Okay. And uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, for fire, fire uh, biogas uh, boiler, we can uh, assign a better temperature uh, efficiency of your uh, boiler because this is a design model. We are not going to discover the efficiency. We have to assign the efficiency. And we have here calorific value, the fuel air to fuel ratio, some uh, uh, chill diameter tubes, uh, some uh, considerations, uh, fuel cost. Uh, for your uh, system, but we are going to run on uh, or depending on uh, evacuated tube solar field. Uh, we can discover the following. We can discover the following. Uh, what is your uh, hyper saturated high pressure losses in through the tubes, solar field total area, evacuated tube uh, area, one module area, a thermal load, number of solar collectors, 
a tube lens, efficiency, some exegetic results, and so on. Okay, let's go here. For heat exchanger, we can assign the following. You know, what is your number of passes? Um, some uh, design parameters related to your uh, tubes inside, uh, ambient temperature, and your effectiveness. Okay. And the same for the second one, okay. Uh, I consider the same, okay. okay. And uh, for this one, we are going to control, uh, control, ambient, uh, I'm sorry, input temperature and outlet temperatures. We are going to control this one, and the, in, the inlet uh, or the load on the uh, uh, heat exchanger should be assigned. Surely you can uh, you can estimate uh, based on user load, okay? But uh, in this model, we are going to uh, simulate uh, our model based on uh, um, the knowing of, of uh, in, uh, input of uh, thermal power through the, the, the second heat exchanger. Okay, set your simulation time into zero, saving your model. And I would like to uh, adjust my temperature for uh, high temperature here from the user should be around, uh, I think, uh, 120. And this one, the output should be, uh, or the exhaust temperature should be around, uh, I'm sorry, it should be around 100. Okay, uh, let's saving and hit run. Okay, model is running. This is your time domain. Okay. As you can see, we have some results. We have some results. This is, um, if you emphasize a little bit, you're discovering, uh, okay. This is early solar field temperature should be around this one. And this is your top solar field temperature. It's around 132. Um, uh, solar f and this is mass flow rate, so the solar field and uh, a solar field in some way. Okay. I forget to. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, this is your uh, thermal load on the, the second uh, heat exchanger. It's, it is massive, it's around uh, uh, 18,000 kilowatt of thermal power. Suppose I need. Uh, 5,000, let's go for 5,000, okay, and hit run again, so we can control this based on our load, okay, now we have, um, okay, this is mass flow is reduced, okay, and we have here, uh, let's go here and see, this is our pressure uh, losses in tubes, a saturated pressure, uh, early temperature to the um, uh, so, uh, solar uh, field, okay, and outlet temperature from the solar field in survey and uh, mass flow rate. The same result for this one. And let's go for here. And, um, and this is a uh, user top temperature, okay, this one, we, because we estimated this one, okay, the outlet and inlet to the first heat exchanger. Uh, 118 and the exhaust is, should be uh, 99 and uh, the intermediate mass flow is around uh, uh, 66 you can go inside here and discover your results uh, to pressure uh, this is top solar field uh, area uh, module area okay A thermal power number of solar uh, collectors okay and uh, collector efficiency for biogas there is no result because we, uh, we are running uh, on the uh, evacuated tube and for heat exchanger one you can discover more results um, outlet uh, temperature in salby inlet temperature to the uh, inlet temperature to the uh, heat exchanger and uh, inlet in salby uh, area this is your area number of tubes um, uh, tube lens and uh, pressure drop and so on.
and this is our bump power this is bumping power solar feed bumping power because we have two bumps and this is your bumping power specific power consumption let's go for another one the second uh, heat exchanger yeah, and salt be temperature is the same uh, areas and uh, a flow rate this is your flow rate so the heat exchanger and excessive the structure rate and this is your second bump okay uh, the circulation bump or for intermediate units it's around 7 kilowatt of power consumption and let's go for cost analysis we can consider a total heating price what is hourly costs and uh, collector costs uh, heat exchangers post heat exchanger hourly costs and uh, bumping costs sure, surely you have here uh, we have here uh, uh, biogas but there is no uh, biogas uh, uh, cost because there is uh, we are not running on biogas okay uh, suppose I need to run my, my model in uh, with respect to the time and see my results changing okay set your simulation time into infinity okay saving and uh, hit run I, I will hit run and trying to change uh, uh, some parameters and, and see my results let's hit run and see okay okay now I can uh, remove the cursor or dial increasing the thermal power uh, demand or load uh, by the user I'm increasing okay and I will increase uh, temperature by the user okay okay and de decreasing the temperature from here and that's enough stop okay let's go here you can discover your results here in MATLAB workspace you'll find your results here uh, okay you'll find your results or you can uh, um, go to the data inspector and see my results here you have many many ways uh, to to uh, extract your results this is power uh, uh, power fluctuating uh, specific uh, power consumption or heating price total hourly costs varying collector hourly costs you can compare runs if you would like evaporator hourly cost bump bumps and you have this is fluctuating in uh, outlet uh, temperature uh, uh, collector from the collector uh, mass flow rate through the solar field uh, and uh, collector temperature you can add this one besides this one if you like in order to compare and some output in some ways uh, this is water temperature and we have here heat exchanger mass flow rate uh, pressure if you would like um, higher uh, this is one is another this pressure evacuating and lower the okay so uh, you can close this one let's run uh, depending on our uh, biogas but before this one we have to go here and we need to extract our result from biogas uh, okay you can just uh, you can rename your uh, uh, your uh, outputs just to click on the signal double clicking and you can write uh, for example this is pressure of biogas outlet in bars okay and you have to uh, click this one in order to send it to data inspector this is small square visualize it and this one I can send it to data inspector okay and this one too I can this is outlet in Salve uh, from the biogas boiler okay I can rename it H H biogas uh, I'm sorry biogas water outlet kilojoule by kilogram okay I'm sorry okay and I can send it to data inspector because I would like to, to compare my runs uh, mass flow rate of the biogases my best fluid of the air uh, similar power and uh, this is useful energy okay uh, excessive destruction uh, through the biogas 
a specific fuel consumption you can you can discover this. that's enough for now just click saving okay and uh let's hit run but but i have to choose biogas boilers okay and uh, surely you can run this one in, uh, in dynamic mode considering weather operating conditions the absence of the sun you, you can do all of this uh, stuff just i'm i'm uh, let's return to original case i'm trying to return to the original case in order to compare okay now saving and hit run and i would like to change uh, as a load again okay now we are running in time so i am changing changing the power increasing the power load increasing temperature that's increasing temperature up to maximum values decreasing inlet temperature for example okay and that's enough for now i'm just showing you how to uh, also you can uh, and go here select sync and you can send your uh, uh, results to matlab workspace or to the mat file or display you would like uh, what based on your um, favorite technique of data ex extraction uh, let's go inside data inspector and try to discover uh, and compare our results because we already added uh, uh, okay that's for going for biogas thermal power okay surely uh, total will uh, will change there is a change because we added uh, uh, biogas there is no uh, there is no result for uh, solar field heat exchanger we have results changing as you can realize the effect of biogas boiler uh, bump okay outlet there is no outlet temperature from the solar field or mass flow to the through the solar field uh, we can this is biogas pressure we can compare pressure okay as you can see and um, uh, okay similar power this is similar power okay i have to consider more slots I have to consider more slots here. You can send all of these slots to the to the figure, and you can draw this. Uh, let's go for uh, mass flow rate. So, uh, okay, this is your mass flow rate. You can compare this one with um, with here. So, okay, this is solar field mass flow rate and biogas solar field, and uh, mass flow rate of the air, uh, thermal power. Of the west gases, this is west gases, similar uh, uh, power, specific for consumption. Okay. Uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your uh, interest in our model. Don't forget to like, share, uh, and subscribe. Uh, uh, I would like to inform you that we can use this one for dynamic modeling. We can uh, considering uh, operating uh, conditions to be run automatically uh, without interfering from us you can adjust your signal builder you can adjust your uh, your model uh, with respect to the day or months or year and it can give you uh, the fluctuating uh, around one year or months or or a specific day if you would like you can change temperature ambient temperature uh, and uh, you can change uh, solar radiation uh, finally thank you very much don't forget to like share and subscribe